Today's scripture reading begins in verse 7 of Psalm 27. Hear, Lord, when I cry with my voice, and be gracious to me and answer me. When you said, Seek my face, my heart said to you, I shall seek your face, Lord. Do not hide your face from me. Do not turn your servant away in anger. You have been my help. Do not abandon me nor forsake me, God of my salvation. For my father and my mother have forsaken me, but the Lord will take me up. Teach me your way, Lord, and lead me on a level path because of my enemies. Do not turn me over to the desire of my enemies, for false witnesses have risen against me and the violent witness. I certainly believed that I would see the goodness of the Lord in the land of the living. Wait for the Lord. Be strong and let your heart take courage. Yes, wait for the Lord. Dr. Stanley says, I've known the pain of loneliness and emotional isolation during my lifetime, but God has never abandoned me to these feelings. Over the years, He's taught me to draw near to Him rather than give in to self-pity and despair. We can't deny feelings of loneliness, nor can we allow ourselves to wallow in them. Today's psalm instructs those of us who are believers as it reveals how David dealt with his sense of isolation. He cried out to the Lord, God is near to the brokenhearted and hears our prayers. David remembered the Lord's help. Even in despair, we should make an effort to recount God's past faithfulness to us. He asked God to guide and teach him. Instead of withdrawing into self-pity, we must go to God's Word to learn His ways. David believed he would see God's goodness. Confidence in God's goodness helps us look beyond our current emotions. And David waited for the Lord. In his time, God will bring us out of the shadow of isolation. Although loneliness is painful, it's also an opportunity to draw near to the Lord. Instead of turning inward, use it to grow upward. <music> 